If you've ever added search to your website and found you just didn't really like the way it looked or the way it operated, then maybe this new plugin from Zemes will be the answer to all of your prayers. Today we're taking a look at Jet Search, the latest plugin to be added to the Jet suite of tools for Elementor. This is part of Crocoblock, or you can purchase it as a standalone product. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so Jet Search has one simple but very powerful function, and that's to add an Ajax powered search to your website. So let's just jump over and take a look at how we set this up and all the options that are available. So I've gone ahead and jumped over to the dashboard of a WordPress website, and as you can see, I've got Elementor open in front of me. If you look on the left-hand side, we've got a new option, which is Jet Elements, with just one entry in there, and that's the Ajax search option. So let's just drag that over, drop that in to replace this little button we have, and let's just delete our button. And what this is going to do is going to give us the ability now to search throughout our entire website, or we can sort of filter this down to choose exactly what we want to actually search against. So let's take a look at the options on the left-hand side. First of all, you've got some of the basics for the search form itself. So you can see that we've got a very plain search form with an icon for the actual search. If we want to change that, we can choose any icon we want on there. We can come down and change the placeholder text so we can say search the site, for example, or if you're selling specific products, you could say search all the vehicles, that kind of thing. You've got the option then to show or hide the submit button, so you can see it's a simple toggle. We can activate or deactivate that, and also we can change the submit button label. At the moment, there's nothing written on there, but we can say search if we wanted to, and you'll see that that adds in to the side of the icon. Again, you've got the submit button icon, and we can change that if we want to. We've got the show category list, and this is where you start to harness the power of this particular plugin. If we activate that, you can see that opens up some additional options. We can now come through and say, what do we want to use to subfilter this information? So at the moment, it says taxonomy is set to categories. We can click and expand that out. You can see, depending upon what you have actually set up on your site, I've got WooCommerce, so I've got product categories and tags. You can see we've got things like categories, tags, format, product categories, product tags, and so on. So you can choose anything you want on there. If we click and expand that, you can see currently we're looking at all the categories, but we could change that to anything that's sort of fixed inside our website itself. So for example, if you want to use the categories, the product categories in our shop, you can see we can come over, choose product categories. That will then change to say all categories. And if we expand that out, you can see it now shows men's clothing and men's outfits. So you can easily set that up to get exactly what you want. We'll set that back to categories. We we'll enable the responsive form on mobile, so we can make sure that it looks great on mobile devices. We then have the options for search settings. If we click and open that up, you can see we can open up a range of additional options. Now, when it says search in, if we click inside there, you can see we can now restrict this search to be posts, pages, and or products. So we might only want this to search against our products. We can click and add that in. If we wanted to add a second one in, you can see we could simply come in, add the next one in. Click on the X to get rid of it to make sure that we're searching against only what we want to search against. So this is really good if you want to restrict the actual search form to only go through and pull out the relevant parts of your website. You can see then we've got the number of results displayed on one page, the number of results displayed in one search query and so on. We can then go through and sort these by various different criteria. So relevance, date, title, and so on and so forth. We can then go through and specify where we want this to be in ascending order or descending order. So all pretty self-explanatory in the search settings option. If we come to the results area, we have a ton more options. So you can see we can do result area width by search form, or we can say by input box and categories list. So we can make sure that this looks the way exactly the way we want it to. Show post thumbnail. So if you are dealing with something like products, it's pretty cool that you can actually use the thumbnail of the product itself. So let's just quickly test this out. So we come in and we'll say we want to put in skinny suit, for example. You can see that now loads up all the products that fit into that criteria and shows the nice thumbnail and some information about it. And we could then click and go and take a look at that product itself. Obviously, if we were dealing with categories, we could come through and we could filter those out as well just to get even smaller results. So it's very easy to work with. 
Again, we've got the thumbnail size there. We can specify exactly what size image is going to be used and depend upon the type of store that you've got installed, the type of theme you've got installed or what settings you're using, you'll see different options available in here. But you can see there are a range of different size images we can use to make sure we get fast loading and good quality images. Then you've got the post content length, which dictates how much text is being pulled from that particular post page product and so on. You can set that to zero if you wanted to hide it so you didn't show anything at all. We then got things like results counters, show all results button and so on. So again, really, really self-explanatory what's going on. And then you've got things like the results navigation. You've got bullet pal uh, pagination, number pagination, which again, we can show, show in header, footer, so on, all those kinds of things. We've also got things like the navigation arrow type. We can change those to a range of different predefined options. If we come out the notifications then, if you find that there's nothing actually being shown for a particular search query, you can see you can customize exactly what's being done. And the same thing if you get a technical error with it. So that's the basis for the content itself. The next step, we've got the style options, which we can then go through and style our form to make sure it looks exactly the way we want and in keeping with the design of the site that we're working with. Now under the style section, we have a lot of options. This gives us a great scope to make sure that whatever kind of site that we're using this search function in, we can make sure that it looks exactly the way we want it to. So you can see we can deal with things like the normal and the focus state for the actual form itself. So we could click on focus, for example. Say we want to put a box shadow on there and we'll just apply a little bit of a blur, a little bit of spread on there. When you click on it, then you can see we get that effect. So what we'll do is just come back in and we'll just make that much more transparent so you can see there's an effect to show that it's been focused on which is pretty cool we can also change the background color for the focus or the normal we can do things like padding and border radiuses all those kinds of normal things you'd expect to see input field and category list wrapper you can see we can come in there and again we've got the options for the normal and the focus change the colors box shadows and so on so there are a ton of options in here we can come into the results area and fine tune and tweak that, make sure that that looks exactly how we want. There's a whole range of different things we can do. Even right the way down to the notifications we can set up to make sure that looks good and the spinner that's going to be used on there, the color of that. Finally, if we join the advanced, you can see we've got the normal things in here. We've got sort of normal margins for this, everything you'd expect to see inside Elementor itself. And that really is all there is to this Ajax search from Jet Search. It's a very simple but very powerful tool to add great search to your website. So I'm going to save this, tweak a couple of parameters on there, and we'll take a look at what this looks like on the front end of the site and how it works with an actual live site. So we're on the front end of our site, as you can see, there's our search form in our header, a great place to draw attention to it when someone lands on your shop or your site. So you can see if we go to the all categories, it says men's clothing, men's outfits, so I can filter out the search results. And I can just come in here, we've got the highlight effect when we focus on this particular form. And if I type something in like skinny, you'll see what will happen is this will pull up the results. As you can see, there are a range of results. We've got 12 in this example. So I can find the one I think I actually like. I can click on that product and it'll take me straight through to the product description, where if I'm interested, I could then add that to the basket. And that's our first look at the Jet Search plugin for Elementor. I think it's a really simple way to implement a powerful search feature onto your website. So if you are in an online shop or you've got a website with a ton of information, this is definitely worth taking a look at. All the links are in the description below, so you can check those out and take a look at it. If you already have a CrocoBlock subscription, then you have access to this as part of your plan with no extra charge. So it's worth taking a look at if you have that subscription. Well, what do you think of this search? Have you found a better option, a better plugin, something you think is worth me taking a look at? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. Speaking in the comment section, did you enjoy this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but let me know why you didn't like it in that comment section below. Well, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.